What's good, Joshua Ross? Back at again with an unfortunate video. Now, I know it's early in the morning. I didn't even plan on dropping any videos this early, but uh, something just happened that I wanted to kind of show y'all how some wrestling fans take the shit too far if they don't agree with your opinion or who your favorite wrestler is. I'm going to show y'all something. And I want y'all to see the type of wrestling fans that should not be fans of wrestling at all. If anything, these people need to seek help, like psychiatric help, because for you to go this far to to show why you're not a fan of my opinions or whatever, it's not that serious. But let me show y'all. This literally just happened like maybe 20 minutes ago. I'm literally about to get on Call of Duty and my game crashes. So I get on Instagram and I see a couple of these comments. I'm going to make myself smaller so y'all can see exactly the BS that I was dealing with. So right here, these are the recent comments. And this is from, I don't know who this person is, Emmanuel. Um, let me, uh, actually, I'm going to make myself disappear real quick so y'all can see. So Emmanuel Rodriguez, uh, 3832. Now. Don't know who this person is, but they're clearly a Roman Reigns fan because they got the OTC as their profile picture and never interacted with this person. In fact, when you go to this person's profile, they don't have no posts. I don't they don't follow me, right? So let me let me show y'all this. And go back to it. So he recently commented on this particular post right here of uh, when Brandon found out that we was meeting Mark Henry, right? Saw it, didn't, you know, really make a big deal out of it. But let me show y'all again exactly what it was. He basically said, um, where is it? He basically said, where? I can't even find it. I just lost it. It was basically talking about, oh, right here. Roman beat Cody Kid, Random, right? So next, he decides to comment on this post. Now, this is talking about the passing of my grandmother. He decided to comment on this. And this is where things get pretty disgusting, in my opinion. He comments, you deserve this for talking like Roman has never beaten Cody. I don't even know when I've said that. I don't even know why that is a even a point to even like talk about on this post. I deserve my grandma dying because... I'd said something about Roman has never beaten Cody. Like, what are we talking about? What, that none of this even matter. Like, why? Why would we do this? Why would we even say this? But he continues on. I made myself disappear again. He continues on, on another post. Oh, well, actually, on the same post, he comments again. It's Roman's WWE, not Cody. Stop talking like he has never beaten Cody. And then on this post, this is a post I was talking about my grandmother passing. And on the comment that he uh, said, why are you talking like Roman has never beaten Cody? Clown emoji. So he did this all within a span of a few minutes, bro. It was weird. So it's just one of those things where I'm like, bro, what are we doing? Why is that? Why is that even a thing? It, it it makes absolute no sense, bro. That shit's weird. That's that's very very weird, bro. Like it it will never for me it will never get that serious, bro. I'm I'm never doing that. Like I'm never gonna sit up there and actively if I don't agree with someone's wrestling take. Go to their personal page. I don't follow them. And then say some heinous stuff on a post involving the passing of someone they care about. Like, what? And the crazy thing is, I'm not even mad. Not even mad. Want to know why I'm not mad? Because I know they're a troll. One. Two, I know they wouldn't say this in my face, like in person. And three, I don't know this person. So you can say whatever evil stuff you want to say. That's fine. I'm, you're not going to give me to crash out over some random Roman Reigns stand. I'm not doing that. But the, I just wanted to put this out there so y'all can see that 
This is some of the worst part of wrestling fans. Y'all take it too far sometimes. If you're like this and you've sent some wild, fucked up messages to people about their wrestling takes, stop doing that. Stop that. Seriously, if you fuck with me and you do this, don't support me. Because I don't support people like that. We can have difference of opinions and all that other stuff. But when you start doing evil stuff like that, bro, it's, it's not about wrestling no more. Now you're just being an asshole. All because... I don't even remember saying that. If I did, I don't I don't even remember saying that. Cuz I'm a fan of Cody. I like Roman Reigns too. Like I'm com I'm so confused and even if I didn't, why the fuck would I even think to say some evil shit like that to someone I don't know? All because you can hide behind your profile picture or lack thereof. You can hide behind the keyboard. I'm telling you this now. 98% of the time, when people say some evil shit online, they will not say it to your face. You want to know why they won't say it to your face? It's simple. Because they're not built like that. Most people are not built to say the things that they say online. That's why I be chilling. I'm like, I'm not about to talk that rah-rah shit, you know what I'm saying, unless shit needs to get handled in person and i'm not doing that online anyway like i don't that's not even the space i'm in but hey it is what it is i mean this person is still commenting on my page like right now as we speak they just sent another comment i'm guessing they say something about i deserve this that's fine that's cool keep saying what you want to say you're not going to get a response out of me i know that's what you want it is what it is. I'm going to go on about my day. But I just want people to understand that there's some weirdos out there. And I'm okay with it. I can live with that. But this should not be a norm. So, Emmanuel, hey, bro, you need help. You need help. I'm going to pray for you. You need it. Because Lord knows going around doing that, that's some scummy behavior. And still sending messages while I'm recording this video talking about I deserve the death of my grandmother. I pray nothing like this happened to you. I pray nothing like this happened to you because I promise you, you wouldn't like it if someone you cared about, someone you love died. And because they're not a fan of Roman, they say you deserve this. It's not that serious, bro. Wrestling fans, we got to do better, bro. <laughs> they still commenting on my page I, it's fucking weird they some weirdos man but i just wanted to put this out there to let y'all know that these are the individuals some of them that you know make the wrestling community look bad don't be this person please don't be this person but i appreciate y'all i love y'all man and uh we just gotta keep um uh, putting out product you know putting out i guess you could say more positivity in the wrestling community space we can agree to disagree it's okay but hey more videos we dropping later on today man i just wanted to put that out there so y'all can see being a content creator or you know i would never call myself an influencer i don't like the way it sounds but being a content creator this is some of the stuff you got to deal with when you're dealing with tragedy and you share it on a public platform they're gonna be trolls that sit up there and make fun of you so all you can do, block them, don't respond to them, and move on. So this is why I made this video. Not to even be upset and have my rah-rah moment. No, it's just to put in perspective, like, this is what comes with doing this stuff. Do I deserve it? Fuck no. But you got to have tough skin. And, and I'm about to go edit this video, drop it for y'all, and go back to playing some Call of Duty while this random loser continues to keep telling me how much of I'm, I'm a Cody crybaby. <laughs> okay, my boy, you keep doing that, man. I know my grandmother is still going to be proud of me regardless, and uh, you know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it moving. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all on the next one, man. Peace.